Hi, this is the Gadget Hater, and I'm back with a review of the Lenovo X120e. A little while back, I did a review on the Vio YB, and basically that was just a piece of shit. So I wanted to basically see if uh, Lenovo could do uh, the AMD E350 chip justice, and they improved a lot of things over the the Vio YB. But some things were still sort of an issue, like fan noise. Uh, and while the Lenovo fan noise isn't as annoying as the Vios fan noise, um, it's still unnecessarily on. And so what, what we can do to get around that issue is to undervolt the AMD chip by a little bit and to install TP fan control, which gives you customized settings for when the fan turns on. Um, basically right now my ThinkPad is, uh, the fan is off 90 to 95 percent of the time and that's amazing. That means zero noise most of the time. So that's quieter than your Apple MacBooks, <laughs> either Air or Pro. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the um, what I'm talking about as far as fan noise. hear that, but Get up close. Hopefully you can hear the fan. And pretty soon that will just shut off. Like now. And then there's just nothing. And it's just like that. Most of the time, it's just nothing. I can't tell you how just amazing this is. Now, I think, I, I do notice that the CPU runs a little bit slower than it used to, but um, let me give you a preview of, of what, <coughs> what the speed is like on this machine. Now, this is me clicking Google Chrome, okay? So, I'm going to click. And that's how fast that opens up. <laughs> and here's how fast Office opens up. I'm going to click on, click on Word here, click. So I don't know if you need CPU speed more than that, then you, I guess you don't want to buy this machine. But for most people, I think this is going to be fine. Now iTunes is a little heavier. Let me show you how that goes. And click. So you can see that sort of takes a little bit longer, right? Um, and a faster CPU would definitely help. But for what this is, I mean, once you're in here, though, <clears throat> let's play. Um, uh, Danger in the air. More severe and deadly weather rips us not over. High anxiety. Another volcano with Put through right here. And they got real dark. Oh, it's come off the rocky. All the way up to Chicago and the change. And for most of the time while this video is playing, um, what's interesting is that the fan still stays off. Right now. No fan noise. I mean how amazing is that? No fan noise. Just wow. Wow. Right here, you can see the TP fan control. Let me zoom into there. Uh, you see the uh, 62. That's the 62 Celsius. 
so that'll pop on some the the noise will come on sometimes um, but like I said 90 to 95 percent of the time this machine is completely silent uh, let me show you the Windows experience index uh, real quick um, um, here are my numbers can you see the processor is the, definitely the weakest part, it's 3.8, but look at my um, uh, disk data transfer rate, it's because I got an SSD in there, that's the uh, vertex. Um, so right now, yeah, the CPU is the bottleneck, and but I mean, those are, those are trade-offs that we make. Um, if you want uh, long battery life, lightweight, and good enough graphics, I mean, this is it. I'm going to unplug the power and so I can give you a sense of what the battery life might be like on this thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure I'm not going to get exactly uh, nine hours, but I mean, when, when the fan's not running uh, and you've got an SSD in there, so the hard drive's not spinning all the time. Um, you will get good battery life. I'm, I would say I'm probably getting a good seven hours solid on this machine. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so if you want to see anything else, just uh, shoot me a message. And uh, yeah, adios.